Hey guys, um, it's me, and I just want to say I'm, I haven't made a video in a while, so I'm going to make one now. It's about a story of what happened yesterday. Um, I'm sorry, I'm actually really sick right now, and I'm just trying to get through it, not to gross y'all out. But, alright, yesterday after school, literally, I fell asleep. I was so sick, I passed out. My best friend, the girl that was in my other video, Aaliyah, she's my neighbor, right? She calls me at 8 o'clock, and I pick up the phone, I'm like, yeah. She's in tears. I'm like, what's wrong? And she's like, can I come to your house? My grandma don't like her, because there's been so much drama between me and her. And her dad hated the hell out of me, because there's been so much drama. And so I'm like, hey, no, let's just meet up, okay? Just, let's meet up. She's like, okay. I wasn't allowed at, allowed at 8 o'clock. I was screwed. I couldn't tell my mom where I was going because I know she would say no. But I went anyways. <laughs> Without anyone knowing I was going. So, I was walking down the road and I see Aaliyah. And I'm like, Aaliyah, come here. I was running to her. I was, like, really scared. I can hear her crying. And I go up to her. I give her a big ass hug. I'm like, what's wrong? Her boyfriend broke up with her. First off, I never really liked her boyfriend. First time I actually got to talk to him, I, I told her I don't like him. Something about him that I do not like. I'm not usually like that. I'm usually really happy for her, and I was. But I knew something was up. I, I knew it from the very beginning. But I gave her this whole big speech about how boys are stupid. Girls know better. We're horrible, too. <laughs> but I was just... I wasn't... Really trying to give her a speech about girls, I was just giving her about guys. So guys, I'm sorry if you get offended, but girls are horrible too. <laughs> so she was like, "Oh, I need a drink. Am I giving alcohol?" She's like, "Yeah." I'm like, no, "No, no, you don't. Come on, let's go. Let's go." It's like it was a gas station by our house. We were walking, and she starts crying. She's like, "I think it's closed." I went in there. I'm like, "Come on, let's go. It's not closed." I'm like, "Hey, is it opened?" He was like, "Yeah, come on in." And she got a um, uh. Arizona, I think. I forgot. But she got a big Arizona drink. And we walked back. In this house. Right next to the gas station. We walked past it. And I was like, okay. Here's another story. Past this. This girl named Destiny told that house. That Aaliyah's brother told Destiny to get on her knees and suck his dick. And Nick is not like that. I know Nick. I've known Nick for a while. He would not do that. I know a lot of boys would, but he wouldn't do that. Plus, I know Destiny is a liar. So that house was after us. Me and Aaliyah just passed their house. Just I was going to go home. She was going to go to her house because she was calming down. And then this boy and a girl was following us saying, Oh, we're going to beat your ass and all this. You're ugly ass bitches and all this. I'm going to fucking kill you guys. I'm gonna go to your house and I'm gonna kill every single one of you. I'm gonna kill your family members. These people are 20, 20, whatever. And it was ridiculous. We just, we legitly just said, leave us the hell alone. And we kept walking. And then Aaliyah, I was like, Aaliyah, I'm, her dad hated me. Just remember this. Which, we were by her house. I'm like, um, Aaliyah, I'm really afraid. I'm afraid to go home. I'm afraid they're gonna follow me home. Because they were following us to her house. I was like, can you just tell your dad if I could just go in because I'm flipping shit. She went in and she's like, and she's like, dad, someone's following us. And he's like, who's us? I'm like, bring Carrie. And then he told her, bring Carrie inside and all this. And he, he loves me now. I'm allowed over there at, her, at their house now. I used to have a job. And now, like, because he was my boss. And then he fired me because me and Aliyah got into a fight and now he rehired me. So I'm really happy about that, but I was, like, waiting outside, waiting for Aaliyah to tell me to go in, because I didn't know what to do. They were right in front of me, and I'm freaking out. I'm like, and she's like, Aaliyah! She's like, Carrie, come on! I start running towards the house, and I'm freaking out. And Natasha, her sister, she's about 14. She's 14. She starts flipping shit. She's like, Carrie, I'm scared, and all this. And Natasha knows me. And I start, uh, I'm hugging her. I'm like, Natasha, it's okay. We called the cops and all this, and then they're starting, the guys and the girls are starting stuff. We called the cops, the cops came, talked to me and Aaliyah, and this, is, this happened four times now, 
And, you know, it, it was all just a big mess. And they said, it, they messed with us again, that we need to call the police because we have, because they trespassed the house, Aaliyah's house. They weren't allowed on the property. But now we got an actual pass where if they set foot on the property, then they can get arrested. So, I'm happy I got my best friend's family back. So, you know, yay. <laughs> well, that was my story. Bye, guys. See y'all next time.